Hello and welcome to Jetline Marvel. In this video, we compare the Tejas MK2 built in India and the Rafale which is developed by Dassault Aerospace in France. We explore the differences between these aircraft in terms of features and capabilities. Tejas MK2 is an improved version of Tejas MK1. Hindustan Aeronautical Limited designed and developed this aircraft. The LCA project was launched by the Indian government in 1983, with the goal of replacing the IAF's aging fighters by the early 1990s, particularly the MiG-21 variants, which had been the IAF's mainstay since the 1970s. The LCA was given the name Tejas in 2003. The Dassault Rafale is a French twin-engine fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale is referred to as an Omnirole aircraft by Dassault. The Tejas MK2 is 48 feet long, while the Rafale is 50 feet 1 inch long. The Tejas has an empty weight of 7,850 kg, while the Rafale has an empty weight of 10,300 kg. The Rafale's maximum takeoff weight is 24,500 kg, while the Tejas MK2's is 17,500 kg. The Rafale has a fuel capacity of 4,700 kg, while the Tejas MK2 has a capacity of around 3,400 kg. The main feature that sets Tejas apart is its engine capacity, which is powered by General Electric F414 engines that produce 58.5 kN of thrust in dry air, and 98 kN with afterburner. The Rafale entered service with the French Navy in 2004 and with the French Air Force in 2006. With more than 30,000 flight hours in operations, it has proven its worth in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq and Syria. The Rafale was ordered by Egypt, Qatar and India. The maximum speed of the Rafale fighter jet is around 19-12 km per hour, which is Mach 1.8 at high altitude, and the maximum speed of the Tejas MK2 is around 2,385 km per hour, which is Mach 2.0. The Rafale combat range is 1,850 km on a penetration mission with three tanks, and 3,700 km on a ferry mission with drop tanks. With three external fuel tanks, the Tejas combat range is around 1,500 km. The Tejas MK2 has a service ceiling of 56,758 feet, while the Rafale has a service ceiling of 51,952 feet. The Rafale has a climb rate of around 60,000 feet per minute, while the Tejas MK2 has yet to be determined. Rafale is a high-tech aircraft that can carry more weapons thanks to its 14 hardpoints, including a capacity of 9,500 kg. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles, Magic-2 and MBDA Meteor, AASM Hammer, anti-ship missiles and nuclear deterrence ASMP missiles. It is also equipped with Buddy Buddy Refueling Pod, Fighter plane is used to refuel another fighter or attack plane, 
It is known as body refueling. Tejas MK2 has 13 hard points with a capacity of around 6,500 kilograms and can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles such as Mica and Astra, as well as air-to-surface missiles such as Brahmos and Nurpe. It can also carry Rudram-1, 2, 3 anti-radiation missiles and bombs such as SPICE and HSLD precision guided munitions. It can also operate with laser guided bombs. The Rafale is a 4.5 generation aircraft that was introduced in 2001 after being built in 1991. The Rafale's avionic system and weaponry have improved over time. Despite the fact that it was released 20 years ago, it continues to be in high demand around the world due to its incredible technology and capacity. India has received 26 of the 36 Rafale aircraft it ordered from Dassault Aviation so far. Tejas MK2 is also classified as a 4.5 generation aircraft. It is currently in development and is expected to fly for the first time in 2023. The aircraft's capabilities and functions have yet to be tested in practice. The majority of its functions are similar to those of the most recent generation of aircraft. This will aid India's future self-reliance in the development of its own defense aircraft. The cost of the Rafale aircraft is estimated to be around 1600 crores, or 219 million euros. However, the price of the Tejas MK2 has yet to be revealed. In the comments section below, let us know what you think about the Tejas MK2 and the Rafale aircraft. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, that inspires us to create new videos. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.